Hundreds gathered on the site of former Hearts Head High School playing fields off Lees Road in Ashton on Sunday. They were there to protest plans to build up to 840 homes on the open space. Hearst councillor Paul Buckley says his constituents have no green space to enjoy. We've got no areas where people can go for recreation. So we're getting really, really stuck here now of people going out. And if you're going to build another nearly 1,000 houses, where do the children and the people there go and walk the dogs and play football and stuff if you're going to build on every piece of green belt? We accept there are going to be housing, but it's got to be where it's needed. The spatial framework turns around and says we need so many houses. Well, that was done with the figures before we actually had voted to leave Europe. We don't expect we're going to have as many people going to be um, leaving, um, but coming into the country since we've decided to leave Europe. So we won't need as many houses. Ashton MP Angela Rayner, who lives just a few hundred yards from the proposed development, urged the crowd to make their voices heard on the matter. Your voices are crucial in this. It's not a done deal yet. You can make a difference so protesting today is important but also feeding into that consultation on the spatial framework plans and the local plan is really important so keep sending your letters in keep arguing but also let's be clear the government have to invest in our area what the government need to do is release funds to enable developing to happen on these brownfield sites which are more expensive to get ready to build on. We're calling on the government to take actions, not just words, and help to build the houses that we desperately need in the area, but not on our children's playing fields. It has to be a sustainable, well thought through strategic plan. I don't believe the current plans meet, those, uh, meet that strict criteria. I think the government should think again. I think the council should think again at the current proposal. I urge all local residents to get involved and to raise their concerns about these current proposals and make sure that actually they do consider Brownfield before they touch our much loved, much needed Greenbelt. Tameside Council are currently seeking feedback on the plans and the consultation period runs until the 6th of March. Comments can be submitted via email to planpolicy at tameside.gov.uk.